you said it's all on you guys and you embrace that. I'm curious at this point in the season now that it's November and the, the standings have sort of taken shape. Do you guys talk about the fact that you have an opportunity to control your own destiny? I mean, we don't really talk about it. We just know it. And, uh, you know, it, it is up to us. You know, it, it's up to the players, up to the coaches. You know, yeah, I'm just excited. We're all excited. We're excited for the opportunity, and, you know, we're ready to go. What's the, the mentality of a player playing through an injury, playing hurt, essentially? And do you ever, like, not tell the medical staff <laughs> that you got something so you could um, stay out there? It's just getting a lot of treatment, trying to get your body right. Um, you know, you're going to be up at 6 o'clock, 6.30 every day in the facility, um, not leave until 9, 10, you know, well, not 10, but, you know, it's just trying to get your body right, trying to play, you know, with confidence. Because, you know, if you're lagging with something, you're not going to be able to play with full confidence. So I think that's the biggest thing. Do you push yourself, though? Like, let's say it's just a nagging thing. Do you just do you have to push yourself through that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. How, how do you, I mean, where do you summon that? Um. It's just, I don't know, I've, I've always done it. I mean, all those players do it. It's just part of football, so. Back to the left side, Michael. Sort of uh, along those lines, how is your shoulder feeling? And was that something that happened in practice, or was that one of the games? Uh, yeah, it's it's really been a problem since high school. But um, it got a little messed up against Rutgers. And, uh, you know, I've just been treating it. And then, uh, yeah, it's getting back, so it's doing pretty good. After a few more for Trevor, go to the right side here, Reiner. How much does Jim talk about playing through, you know, stuff? And oh, <laughs> it, you know, it's it kind of like tests like your manhood, um, like see like, you know, like if you're a little banged up, like like we want to play, like we want to play for each other, but you know, it just gives you a little sense of like a manhood, I guess. But uh, coach talks about it all the time with his elbow when it popped out and stuff, but nothing too major like that. <clears throat> When you're down to one experience back in Hassan, did, does the line do you do you really do you think you have to block harder? I mean, because there's you know, um, it's thin now. At, at running no, back? I mean we trust all of our backs. We trust each other on the team. You know, we know that everybody's gonna do their job. So whoever's back there, we're gonna block our tails off for them. So to the right side, Austin. You were talking just a minute ago about the differences with the running backs. Do you, do you notice a difference depending on which quarterback is on the field? Obviously, Cade gets it out pretty fast, and J.J. Mike's been around a little more back there. Yeah, I, I figured that out a little bit <laughs> this weekend. But, uh, no, I mean, Cade, Cade and J.J. are both, you know, really good quarterbacks, really poised. Um, they're different, but, you know, like, it, it doesn't matter. Like, you got to protect your tail off for whoever's back there. I mean, yeah, not, nothing too major like that.